Thank you. Greetings, everyone. And thank you, Perry, for the lovely introduction. Um, so when I woke up this morning, my morning, I grabbed that cup of coffee and I held it and I said to it, come here, you beautiful, delicious cup of coffee, and lie to me about how I'm going to make all my targets and meet all my deadlines for the day. So without further ado, uh, I'm essentially going to share with you uh, how I conduct myself in our, my classes that I present for COSCHEM in South Africa, uh, give you a little bit of a look into how I do these lectures. Um, I always tell the students um, that I don't really like following the script. Um, I prefer to talk from the heart. I talk, talk from experience. However, when I set the exams and uh, I do it purely from the textbook or handbook that they're given, I also um, understand that packaging is all but just a subject uh, within, uh, you know, the COSCHEM, Cosmetic Chemists Diploma that the, the students want to achieve. Um, so I surface touch um, on all the issues around packaging and, and try and make it as enjoyable as I can. So uh, although I have a lot of slides today, I'm very, very aware of the timing that we have, and I will stick to it. So I'm going to give you top-line information around what I discuss um, in my lectures in class. So first of all, we speak a little bit about the product life cycle, and I talk to launching new products and the stages that those products uh, would go through along their life. So you'd start with an introductory phase where your new product that you've now launched uh, it shows slow sales growth. And this stage, uh, you basically, it's up to the sales force to sell this product in. You have a lot of promotional uh, support. And at this stage, normally those new products that you're selling in will probably not be profitable because you're trying to recoup all the development costs, uh, be it marketing, be it packaging, all those costs that you've put in to get that product onto the market. The product will then go through uh, the growth stage uh, where the sales begin to hopefully climb and the initial event investments in research and development and the promotional costs are slowly started to be recouped concentration will switch from selling to building that brand. The whole thing then moves into its mature stage and the product is now established as a brand and is in the profit producing phase. Sales virtually level off and you're able to forecast nice and clear and concise and the concentration moves now to defending your brand share. Product innovation and renovation can be used during these stages. You may tweak colors, you may change packaging, making it a little bit more upbeat uh, uh, before it moves into the decline stage where the sales begin to fall as the consumers shift to new products that are seen to be newer and better. Something I was taught very, very early on by our materials manager at that stage was, although it's in the decline stage, sometimes what you would do, uh, you have a certain amount of um, overhead costs for your factory that you need to absorb. So sometimes what you might decide on doing is you keep that product going for a good few more years because it's actually helping you absorb overhead costs without or throughout, should I say, throughout the entire uh, lot that the factory would be doing. Um, just to say that the packaging technologist, someone like myself, is used mainly during the development stage of launching new products and then also extending it uh, to give it a longer life. There's your product life cycle graph, uh, just showing you exactly what I've tried to explain, the four different stages that products go through. Um, I've got this funny little chirpy kind of slide up there and 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 uh, i get a lot of laughs at this because um, i'm used to the marketing people giving us packaging briefs and i put a lot of emphasis on the packaging brief because you kind of want to prevent exactly what i'm showing here so the first slide will start off and what it literally says is it says how the customer has explained it is the first slide the second slide is how the project leaders understood it how the business consultant described it, and the list goes on how the analyst designed it. You move on to what the operations installed, 
how it was supported, had very, very little support, as you can see. And it goes.